Good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Saurabh Roy along with my colleague Mr. Rasis Kumar. So we will discuss about the microwave engineering. So what is microwave engineering? What are the modern uses of microwave engineering? What are the necessity of the microwave engineering? As an electronics student, you should know about the microwave engineering. So uh, in the second lecture, uh, year, we discuss about the electromagnetic theory. In the third year, we discuss about the anterior wave and propagation. But that is the advanced engineering subject that is called microwave engineering. So in the we see there are so many application of microwave engineering in our modern life, military application, wireless application. We'll discuss one by one. What are the different microwave sources? So first, so now we will see the how the microwave is generated or electromagnetic wave is generated. So electromagnetic wave is generated by using the time bearing electric field and time bearing magnetic field. Time bearing electric field is created, time bearing magnetic field and time bearing magnetic field is created, time bearing electric field. Now those the wave is generated through the medium. So there is a microwave sources or we can call it as an antenna, so which radiates the microwave energy in a different direction. Now coming to the another application that is modern application that is called the radar application. So here we have seen one marine radar is placed in the uh, marine system. So it just scanning the area. So how it is scanning like that, it is scanning the whole area, it's near about, depends on its ranges, it's near about 50, 100, 150 kilometers. So based on the ranges of the medium or target area ranges, they, they, that device can track whatever the activities is going on in that particular region. Is there any any medium, enemy uh, devices are there on and based on that, those things they are doing the action. So that is the one application in military based microwave application. Now we will see the other aspect of microwave engineering in, in our daily life that is called microwave. So the microwave generates the microwave which are used to heat the food or making the food purpose. Now in the microwave device one thing is that that is called magnetron. It creates the magnet microwave. And there is one plate is there that is rotated in a, in a rotation or one plate is there where we kept our food. So actually there is one single wave is generated. So the, like that so many waves are generated. So now what will happen if the wave is generated? So it actually shake the water molecule or particle available in the food. So due to that shaking or vibration the, elect, uh, the heat is produced and due to heat produced the particle or the, the, um, the substrate is boiled at a certain temperature. So that is the one the example of the microwave in our daily life. Now coming to the D, what are the effect of microwave in our daily life? So it comes under that cell phone radiation. So electromagnetic radiation or cell phone radiation that affects our human life. Nowadays the number of cancer patient is increases day by day. And due to that changes of our daily life, that is uses of cell phone in a wide area or wide ranges, the effect of cell phone is affected in our daily life. So we received the electromagnetic is constantly around from various sources and in small doses. But if we increases the time period, means if you daily we receive one watt, but we are uh, receiving those amount is in throughout 24 hours, then amount of energy received in our body is very much high, which will affect or increases the heat of the body and affect our different cell and tissues and which causes the cancer. Now, so those are the uses and advantages. Disability. Now, coming to the point is what is microwave? So, microwave refers to a alternating current signal which frequency is 300 megahertz and 300 gigahertz and wavelength is between 1 millimeter meter to 1 millimeter now in microwave approximation or circuit calculation we are not considering the lamp circuit approximation but in our electrical circuit or 
we are doing the lamp circuit uh, approximation like resistance inductance and capacitance but in micro app it is not possible what are the reason between that because electrical circuit element is considered at frequency is 50 giga hertz or 60 hertz but in micro app the frequency ranges is between 300 mega hertz and 300 gigahertz so lamp circuit approximation is not valid in those higher frequency reason so which which things will we will using distributed parameter analysis by using derivation or integration we are doing that small circuit uh, distributed circuit analysis in the higher frequency region. now coming to the history of micro so first in 19 james clark maxwell or history we can see that history of wireless communication so 1860 the james clark maxwell there is four uh, equation which derives the whole electromagnetic theorem this whole equation is called uh, maxwell's equation so in this four equation first equation is del dot d equal to rho b gauss law del dot b equal to zero that is gauss law for magnetism del cross e equal to minus dot v by dot e that is faraday's law and that's a del cross h equal to j plus dot d by dot e that is ampere's maxwell law so but in ampere's law the del cross h equal to j but in ampere's maxwell law there are another term is come that is called dot d by dot e so del cross h equal to j plus that is that's why it is called ampere's maxwell law or modified ampere's law now, based on his this work in wireless communication in 2009, August 2009, there is a plate is generated by IEEE. So, bit, so in this plate, that is Maxwell equation 1862-1871, between 1860 and 1871, at his family home, and at King's College, London, where which where he was professor of natural philosophy, James Clark Maxwell conceived and developed his unified theory of electricity, magnetism and light. A cornerstone of classical physics, the theory of electromagnetism is summarized is four key equations that now bear his name Maxwell equation today underpin all modern information and communication technology. But Maxwell whatever theoretically he proved, so later on, in the generation of wireless communication, Henry Hodge validated the Maxwell theorem. Henry Hodge validated the Maxwell theorem. Whenever we will see the unit of frequency, unit of frequency is Hodge. So that is the name of that great scientist, Henry Hodge. So frequency unit is based on his name. Now coming to the in 1895, in our Indian continent, the Jagadish Chandra Bose's first public demonstration of microwave or millimeter wave. So, but he developed in short ranges, near about 23 millimeter to 25 millimeter. He also uh, shows all those things in imperial college or in, in london london royal society london he showed how the microwave is generated in the public domain so based on his demonstration but it is a short range communication he in that days in that earlier days he developed the 60 gigahertz communication which are now are used in millimeter wave communication so he is the first person who designed the sources as well as all the things by using gunpowder and others so he is the first person in the millimeter wire generation and as well as in our indian scientist next come to the long range wireless communication so that the person named marconi so he generate first translatic radio communication over a distance of 2000 miles from UK to Newfoundland. So those are the modern history and of wireless communication or you can say microwave communication. And those are the person along with them 
there are some other also there but we discuss some key or eminent person in our microwave region as well as, as preliminary wave region now coming to the electromagnetic spectrum when we will see the electromagnetic spectrum so it covers extremely low frequency to the high frequency so extremely low frequency the application is am fm tv cellphones radar so we will see the ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum and their application is shown in there so it started from am fm tv cellphones radar tv remote light bulb sun x-ray machine radioactive elements so again if we see the wavelength then size of the wavelength in the extremely low frequency it size is near about the bending size but whenever the frequency is increases its size is near about the atom sizes again in between non ionizing there is one spectrum is called visible spectrum so that is visible those particular frequency reason now so we divide the spectrum in two things one is non ionizing and ionizing now we'll see what are the effects biological effects so if we we'll increase the frequency then there is a chances of the dna damage so that is called ionizing radiation which breaks our molecular band and damages our dna but in that particular reason near about lower frequency to the up to uh, up to that reason is called non ionizing radiation up to 300 terahertz so that reason is called non ionizing radiation now again we will see the application of different reason so here are the band electromagnetic radiation spectrum in the lower band we are using fm radio 88 to 108 megahertz mobile phone 900 megahertz 2.4 gigahertz radar 1 to 100 gigahertz tv broadcast wireless data 2.4 gigahertz microwave oven 2.4 gigahertz uh, am radio 6 hertz kilohertz 1.6 megahertz so there are different application is are given in different frequency region so infrared and ultraviolet visible wavelength those are the application in terahertz also they are using now electronics and optics application the particular reason that is called millimeter or sub millimeter wave reason so there are the huge research is nowadays is going on millimeter wave because 5g is based or iot application is based on millimeter wave. now we will see the different frequency band so am radio frequency band is 532 to 1620 hertz fm radio frequency 88 to 108 megahertz tv transmission 880 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz microwave oven 2.4 gigahertz wifi 2.4 to 2.43 gigahertz and microwave frequency band that ranges 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz now comes to the electromagnetic radiation that we discuss earlier electromagnetic radiation is divided in two categories so first one is non ionizing because this particular energy is not able to break the molecular band bond so that's why it is called non ionizing and another one is called ionizing so energy can be divided in energy equal to h and to f where f is the frequency so if frequency is increases then energy is increases then if energy is increases then our molecular bond energy mm, uh, means it can able to damage our dna so higher frequency means like gamma rays x rays so there is the chances of damage of our biological changes or biological effect is there but another things in non ionizing radiation also energy is called power into time so cell phone radiation power is very less one watt but if time is increases then energy also received in our particular cell is also increases if energy received in a particular cell increases then damages of chances damage will be low maybe um, a number of years happened but damage will be there so that is the effect electromagnetic radiation that is the huge effect nowadays you know due to cell phone devices and uh, increases of the electromagnetic radiation in our daily life or things 
and due to that there about every year there is a survey going on every one year there about 10 lakhs people are affected due to the cancer of cancer and other things now microwave application earlier we discuss about two application that is radar application as well as microwave oven this is social life. now we can see in the microwave application it's broadly classified into three categories first one is the civil application in civil means wireless communication vehicle collision um abad so, so that is no relation with civil with uh, civil engineering it just civil means of our daily life application wireless communication and vehicle collision part so another application is the military application like airport sensing and navigation missile guidance and control radar so nowadays recently one day, um, aircraft is added in our indian air force that is called rafale so the near about the target range is 150 km so 150 km range is, is there any enemy aircraft and any other things it can easily detect the things so uh, fighter plane if the target is more then the uh, device is more powerful means it if it is can more than uh, 250 km 200 km then a uh, target is more than their effect is also more it is more advantage so uh, that is called as the, that radar scanning and called that is the eyes of the device if it, it can see that much ranges and that much wide ranges of that particular thing so microwave has a wide application in the military system or military now another things microwave is used in the medical application also so cancer and tumor detection medical diagnosis and therapy so those are the application of microwave civil military and medical application now coming to our course content so our course is broadly classified into five units microwave transmission lines circular web guides microwave tubes web guide components and application microwave solid state devices so we started from the introduction and we goes up to the application and also different microwave sources how microwave source are generated how microwave tubes are working what are the transmission line uh, how can we generate the microwave so what are the in, um, application and what are the different solid state how it is working so we will see all those things in our throughout the course content in our syllabus and we also beyond the syllabus also we will discuss some other things which are very necessary to know the things how microwave radiation affects and others how it is changes our human life what are the different things so i think people will see the modern expect and very interesting facts about our recent trends and techniques as well as in microwave engineering and there are so many scopes are also there if you go through that microwave engineering or different uh, antenna design software and other things microwave devices because there are huge application nowadays because every recent techniques or recent generation of 5g 6g 7g or maybe so many things will come there are huge changes in our devices microwave devices so what are the effects emi electromagnetic radiation effects electromagnetic effects how you can overcome those effects so those are the things and there is a huge career gap career scope also there because uh, in microwave devices or there is a lacking in our mm, india some continent so there is so many lackings are there so you can uh, overcome those things you can use your mm, technique and you can go through the this um, core engineering and different uh, companies and generate the things and uh, use your knowledge to develop some new uh, new um, softwares or new hardwares those are used in microwave system so those are the reference box uh, books we are using microwave engineering david m poser micro devices samuel leo and my foundation ari calling so apart from those books we are also so follow some other lectures and ptl lectures as well as other e content mm, uh, papers and also uh, as per our necessity we will use those things
So the subject is very interesting. You will know so many new things. Those are happened in your real life or daily life. So I hope you people will enjoy.